This prototype was built to show a method for making use of standards alignment data that resides in the learning registry to suggest resources that an educator may want to use in curriculum they are teaching. To start, we have a resource in Brokers of Expertise. That's a full lesson from the Shodor Education Foundation provided to us by Thinkfinity. This resource is also part of the NSDL Common Core Math Collection. In this lesson, students are given real-world situations where they need to put use uh, their knowledge of statistics, working with percents, and manipulating fractions. This resource is aligned to a Common Core standard by a member of the Brokers of Expertise Standards Matching Group. In this case, it's the 7th grade Common Core Math Standard uh, Use Proportional Relationships to Solve Multi-Step Ratio and Percent Problems. And you see they give us some examples. When they did this match to the standard, that alignment data was sent to the Learning Registry node, as you can see here with the snippet of that. Now we have a teacher in CT Online, and this is for illustration purposes, uh, the outline of this curriculum that they're putting together is based on the seventh core, uh, seventh grade math curriculum. The, uh, this unit is on ratios, proportional relationships. Uh, this teacher is putting together a lesson on the multi-step ratio and percents. As you can see, they have their standards selected. Now when they're selecting an activity for this lesson, usually we give them the option to add a resource or select one from one of their existing resources or find some other resource in the system. But now we are giving them the option to select from a list of suggested resources based on that standards alignment data. Uh, standards alignment from their lesson. What they do this, they select the related standard and it will show them resources in the learning registry that have been matched to that standard. As discussed previously on developer calls, it would be helpful to have easy access to title and description for that resource, but for now we're just showing them some of the information that, that we do have accessible. They can preview this resource to make sure it's something they would want to use with their students. After previewing, the teacher selects the resource and it is added to their curriculum. They can change the title if they'd like to something like they save and that resource is now part of their curriculum. Of course, this action of incorporating the resource in their curriculum will also be published to the Learning Registry as well. Getting this data for the related standards was accomplished by modifying the slice service. If you look at our GitHub account, uh, NavNorth uh, Learning Registry project, and then modified the slice service, as you can see, This is the majority of the code that was added in order to get the related data out of the learning registry. Uh, we're only at this point looking at LR paradata and not uh, metadata. And as you can see, we are doing a slice on the related parameter, passing in an ID. This, In this case, this is a uh, Jess and Co. ASN ID for standard 